Since Kirsten Cinema was first sworn in as a senator in January of 2019, she has been exceedingly busy. In March of 2019, she ran an Ironman triathlon in New Zealand, which she trained for by running half marathons in her home state of Arizona. Then two months later, she ran a marathon in California with a fast enough time to qualify for the Boston Marathon. Now this is, let's be clear, exceedingly impressive. Now this June, unfortunately, she broke her right foot while running a marathon in Washington State. Uh, but it's not just running that keeps her busy. She is teaching two classes this fall at Arizona State University, including one titled Developing Grants and Fundraising. Last summer, she worked a two-week stint as a paid intern at a California winery. None of these activities are inherently bad at all. In fact, they all sound great, time-intensive, but great, rewarding, awesome. Many politicians are active athletes. Many others teach college classes. But Senator Cinema appears to be doing all these things instead of doing her job. As Mother Jones points out, she hasn't held a single public town hall since being elected in 2018. Public events of any sort are a rarity, just as they were during her Senate campaign. She does not hold press conferences. Constituents have been arrested this year for demonstrating outside her office. This year, Cinema missed a key vote to establish a bipartisan January 6th commission, saying only she had a personal family matter. Her most significant vote to date was in March, when she used her whole body to give a thumbs down to the inclusion of a $15 minimum wage in the coronavirus relief package. Now, she's one of two key Democratic senators holding up the entire Biden agenda. But instead of sticking around to hammer out a deal, she has left the country for a fundraising trip in Europe. Her spokesman said Cinema has continued to speak with President Biden and her Senate colleagues, adding, quote, phones, in fact, work everywhere. I mean, sure, true. Still, it's pretty weird behavior for a U.S. senator. I mean, just here's an example of what you could be doing. Look at, say, her colleague Chris Murphy. Chris Murphy is spending his recess doing his annual walk across the entire state of Connecticut, meeting with people and talking to constituents across the political spectrum in all walks of life and listening to their concerns because he represents them. That's a thing you could do with your recess. One idea. Now, on top of all this, Reuters is reporting that in an online meeting, Cinema told fellow Democrats in the House of Representatives this week she will not vote for a multi-trillion dollar package that is a top priority for President Joe Biden before Congress approves a $1 trillion infrastructure bill. So my question for Senator Cinema is this. What are you doing here? If you don't meet with your constituents and you spend all your time doing everything except talking to them, legislating, all while holding up your party's entire agenda. Maybe you, know, you don't want to be United States Senator. Maybe it's not the job for you. Brian Grimm is a Washington, D.C. bureau chief for The Intercept. He has reported extensively on Senator Cinema as well as on dark money efforts to kill the Build Back Better bill that contains the bulk of President Biden's agenda. I, I want to start here, Ryan, by just putting to the side, like, there's obviously an ideological issue here. Progressives are very frustrated with her. It's unclear what she wants. But just putting that aside, like, this is strange. The way that she is generally conducting herself as a U.S. senator is quite anomalous, just com across the political spectrum, even compared to someone like Joe Manchin. I've been covering Congress since, I guess, what, 2006. And so, you know, I've, I've watched all sorts of negotiations unfold, Immig immig immigration fights, uh, the, the bailout, the Affordable Care Act, Wall Street reform debt ceiling and and now you know this bipartisan infrastructure bill and this reconciliation package and all all sorts of super committees and other uh, gangs of six seven and eight in between there I, nobody's ever seen anything like this and so you know th there's an impulse out there to say look stop trying to overanalyze kirsten cinema it's quite simple she raises a ton of corporate money and she's doing the bidding of her corporate donors no you know that analytical framework doesn't work because so many other politicians who yes, take correct. so much corporate money aren't behaving this way. Yes, so you need more. You need that, more. That is, a, that is a great point. I mean, that, and I, I've been saying that to people also, like, yes, clearly that's part of it. And we should say that, you know, there was this leaked email where No Labels, the director of No Labels, praised her work for heroic efforts on the infrastructure bill. It is also the case, I will note, that when you don't talk to actual constituents, which she appears not to, then you do only hear from donors, which is really a problem. Um, but mm -hmm. the, even the lack of constituents, like, you know, we were talking about this, Chuck Grassley was at the Trump rally, right? And, you know, if you look at him, he's in the background glad him. He's like, you know, taking pictures and shaking people's hands. It's like, that's what politicians do. And you talk to people in Arizona, they're like, 
we never see her. We can't talk to her. She doesn't come to the local chamber of commerce. She doesn't come to like the, you know, the Yuma town hall, like ribbon cutting, like nowhere. There have been a, a few videos that have leaked over the last year of, of fundraisers that she's held with uh, national, you know, the national corporate groups, not 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 the Arizona ones, but like, you know, the the, the biggest lobbies that represent, you know, the ma major industries. And she's very normal in those videos, you know, just ha having a, a very casual back and forth obsequious almost, uh, telling them, you know, reach out to my staff. I want to do anything that I can do to be helpful. It's it's true, uh, you know, representative legis legislating and lawmaking. You, you see, you're like, oh, that is that is how a representative, you know, works on behalf of constituents. And you're like, I, that does, I don't see that anywhere else except in an, this occasional leaked video. The other thing I had, to, I just asked the staff before we, with our producers, before I came on air, like, She's teaching two courses? Two? Really? Like, that's like the full hey, teaching load. That's a lot. Right, it, 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 it is a lot when then the grading comes in. And you know, there's been there's been a lot of reporting that, you know, her schedule, her personal schedule comes first. You know, what whatever whatever meetings are scheduled around Senate business, you know, if she has something else to do, train, you know, teach a course, uh, I assume the internship at the winery. Uh, did not overlap, you know, and was was during recess. Uh, then, then she's going to take that. And in fact, the angriest that she has been all year long was when the Republicans blocked a time agreement that would have allowed her to pass her bipartisan infrastructure bill on the Senate floor faster. It would have shaved several days uh, off off of the time it took to pass it. And she got up on the on the Senate floor and betrayed the only flash of emotion I've seen her. Uh, show in the last year, and and really and furiously objected to what Republicans were were doing. You know she had and uh, you know she had been uh, liking a bunch of wine tweets, and she had this uh, she had this retreat that was scheduled, and it got in the way of that of that retreat, and she was absolutely furious uh, at that un, at that unfolding. But and but to your point, the the bipartisan infrastructure deal that she did strike, like that, that's the most legislating she has done. Like that was a significant accomplishment in the sense that it got more than 60 yeah. votes. It got it got through the Senate and she has spent the rest of the time imperiling that achievement while going around Arizona touting it as this significant accomplishment. Well, we're going to see. I mean, the rubber's about to hit the road on this. I feel like the, the, the squeeze is on. The, the, mm -hmm. the window is sort of closing. We're going to see where this all ends up. Ryan Graham, that was great. Thank you very much. You got it.